All right, 23 years ago, as I'm recording this, Sega pulled the plug on the Sega Dreamcast. Why Sega did this? I mean, it's it's still up in the air. No, you know, nobody's really got a 100% consensus as to why the Dreamcast died. We can all speculate, blah, blah, blah. The point is, at the end of the day, the Sega Dreamcast has turned into a very much a gift to gamers. Now, whether that's you know something Sega intended to do, as I know, part of the downfall of the Dreamcast was the the fact that it was easily hacked, and unfortunately, a lot of the launch titles and things were quickly uploaded to the internet and things like that. I mean, obviously, I mean, had had the Dreamcast not been able to be hacked like it ha like it ha like it is. It would have been like the Sega. It would have been like the Sega Saturn. There are people that are able to make games and stuff with the Saturn, but they're somewhat rudimentary. They're not really able to push the hardware because they, there's there's so much. I mean, we're just now getting to where Saturn emulation is getting anywhere decent. One member over on YouTube, I'm gonna probably butcher this, but Mig DPS. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. In the last couple of months, he's shown off, or they, I should say, have uh, shown off some impressive uh, videos of their 3D game engine for the Sega Dreamcast. It's called Spiral, and I'm sure you probably already heard about it. It's, I've seen this all over the place. I've even seen it on MSN News. I just wanted to talk about it real quick. This is stupidly impressive. I mean, like, in the background of the, this video right now, you're seeing uh, bits and pieces of uh, a clip that they called Heather's Room from... Uh, Silent Hill 3, the spiral engine ex exporting physics from Blender, which that's interesting to me because I'm, I'm I'm just now starting to really take Blender seriously. I used to I did I used Blender years ago back when I was like version 0.8. Yeah, you know, what are they at 4.2 now? But anyway, it's just it's so interesting how far they've gotten with you know they're basically a fan project. I mean, dynamic lighting. You got uh, all kinds of other terms that I obviously don't know what the you know what the hell they mean as far as gaming. I just know this is stupidly impressive, and I just wanted to show you. I just wanted to let y'all know that you know if you haven't heard about Spiral, check it out. I mean, the th you know the engine is apparently already hovering around sixty frames a second, which is impressive. Uh, yeah, I understand there's not much going on. There's not like enemies bouncing around and everything, but still, what they've got going on right now, you know, 60 frames a second is pretty impressive. Check it out, let, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think, and don't forget, go over to MIG DPS's YouTube channel, give them a subscribe, drop in their comments, let them know what you think about this. <laughs>